uh, welcome to the lesson on pie charts. Um, this lesson was requested through a user on Twitter. Um, if you have any requests yourself and you would like to get in contact, um, please follow the links in the description or go to my Twitter and you can send me a message there if you'd like me to cover anything specific. Um, so what I was asked to do was cover a bit on pie charts for P6, P7, ages 10, 11, um, just getting ready for transfer sort of level. Um, and generally what I've decided to do is cover as much as I can um, in as short a space of time as possible. So we're going to cover a bit on pie charts as you can see. There are various different types of questions you can get asked with pie charts. There's always a couple of things that you can remember and you can hopefully use when it comes to uh, approaching these types of questions. So I have two separate um, activity sheets that we'll work through. Um, we'll answer the questions obviously, but we'll also try and showcase the working behind those questions as well. So if you're struggling with pie charts or you just want to learn a bit more, get a bit a bit more efficient or a bit more effective at it, it's been a really good useful uh, video for you to to watch and um, let's get started so we'll go to our first um we'll go to our first paper um the level of difficulty is is fairly similar um in both of them um, and they're both about the same length so we'll cover those um hopefully now um you may have seen this this is a meme on the internet or a funny picture i've seen before and it's to do with a pie chart now i always show this when i'm teaching because actually it showcases something that is in this particular um, worksheet but not in the other one so just to flag it and um, this is called a key so a key tells you basically the information you're looking at so you might get labels actually connect to these but this actually is a key instead so um what we'll do is we'll work our way through these now and then we're actually going to start off with um this question here okay question one we've got a key and we've got a pie chart here the first thing i always do when i look at the pie chart is to go are there any recognizable fractions in this pie chart because that's the thing you'd be looking at and you need to have an understanding of is fractions and percentages and do you know what equivalent fractions and percentages are for example 50 percent is 50 percent a half it is what the third 33.3 or just 33 percent usually um you know, a quarter, 25%, a third, we covered two thirds, 66.6. Um, you know, 75%, three quarters, things like that. You need to know those. It really will help you be a lot more efficient when you're working through these. So question one says, um, are there, there are 15 students in a math class. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I mentioned about recognizable fractions. Well, this is split up into three parts, three equal parts. So it must be thirds, okay? So this is a third, this is a third, and this is a third. Okay, so these are all split up, and technically we've got if we have our key, the male here, um, that's in boys and girls, and um, we've got a third. This is obviously a third and a third, so it's going to be two thirds. So this is going to be two thirds, and it's going to be one third. Now I haven't answered the questions yet. I'm just marking that out, and you know that's something I could do in my head, but I'm showing you, and you could do in your head when you're looking at the actual question. So it says there are fifteen students in a maths class. The pie chart below shows the proportion of male and female students. And it asks you a couple of questions. And what I like about this little paper is it doesn't necessarily just ask you a sum um, or a problem. It gets you to break down the actual pie chart into its different pieces. So, for example, how many equal sized sectors are there? There's three. We've just done that, okay? Um, how many sectors represent the males? There's one. What fraction of the class is male? We've already done that. It's a third. And that's something you can do very quickly in your head when you're looking at it. But it's good to break that down and showcase it. How many sectors represent females? Two. What fraction is this? Two thirds. We've done that so far. How many students does each sector represent? So the hint is three sectors is 15 pupils. And this is what boils down to whenever you're approaching a pie chart, what you always want to try and work out is, do you know, what do you know? Do you know any percentages? of the that you've been given have been given any fractions we have and haven't been given the total number of people so in this case you always want to say the total number the total number in this entire thing the whole thing is 15 people okay so to work out how many is in each section then you have to go okay well i've got three separate sections and it's all worth 15 so i'm splitting 15 up into three and if you were to divide 15 by three I'm sure you're going to do that. 3 into 1 does not go. Put that 1 over here. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. Each section is worth 5. Section, because they're all equal. Okay? Now, that means that there are 5 males, 
there aren't five females because there's two of these. It's five and five. There's ten. That's probably one of the questions it's going to ask us. How many students are females? Ten. How many are male? Five. Okay. Question two. Let's look at it again. Any recognisable fractions? Yes. We've got quarters here. We've got quarters. Now, some of the quarters represent different things. We've got a key here saying, there are 20 children performing in a school play. The pie chart below shows the proportions of year seven, year eight, and year nine students. And the key here is we've got this pattern, which I believe is here, is year seven. This little dotted pattern is year eight, and the blank is year nine. So we've got actually two quarters. We've got one quarter, and we've got one quarter. Now we also know two quarters, this is what we're talking about, knowing your equivalent fractions, two quarters equal to a half. So we've got half of our things is year eight, and a quarter, and a quarter. And there's 20 pupils. So we can even work it out before we look at these questions, how many is in each part? There's 20 pupils, how many would be in one quarter? Well, one quarter, as in one quarter of 20. To find a quarter of anything, you divide by four, so it's 20 divided by four will get me just what's in this section, okay? Four into 20, we know that's because five times because four divided by 20 is the same as saying four times what is 20? Four times five is 20. So this is five, this is five, this is five, and this is five. And now we can use that to work out the rest. So this is a quarter is gonna be five people, another quarter is gonna be five people. This is two quarters, so five and five, so it's gonna be 10 people. Now we've probably already answered all the questions, but let's have a look anyway, just to make sure. How many equal size sectors are there? Four, one, two, three, four. How many sectors represent year seven children? So year seven, that was this one here, was one. What fraction of the cast are they? They are a quarter or five people. How many sectors represent year eight? They're dotted ones, it's gonna be uh, two sections, so it's two quarters. Um, Four here, how many sectors represent your nine? And then it's there, a quarter, five people, and then you get to the bottom here. How many children does each sector represent? What we just did there, and your seven, eight, and nine. So we're doing the questions before they're even asking us, and that is how you approach a pie chart. You should almost know roughly with something like this how many are in each sector before you even get to the questions. Now, as we get more difficult, and you'll see in some of these, that becomes problematic and harder because you don't have recognizable fractions or they're not labeled as such okay so let's go to the next one okay again question three uh, and we're looking here we've got some football teams here there are 18 and 18 pupils in a class each person has a teacher the football team they support the pie chart below shows the proportion of the football teams supported by the class so we've got uh, two seconds for Man United uh, one for Tottenham, uh, two for Arsenal, and one for Chelsea. And it's split up into different sections. Now, off the top of my head, I didn't, wouldn't be able to say, oh, I, I know what fractions they are, so I have to count them. They're all exactly the same, they're all equal size. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So they are sixths, okay? This is a sixth, this is a sixth, 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 and sixth, okay? How many equal size fractions are there? There are six, okay? Sixths. What fraction of the class support Chelsea? One sixth. One fraction, one section, it's one sixth. What fraction of the class support Arsenal? Two of these, so it's two sixths. Now, again, if you know your fractions, you know you could break down two sixths, two sixths into its lowest common form. That would be one third, if you wanted to be very uh, accurate, I suppose. Tottenham, which is the next one I believe, yep, that's one sixth again. And Manchester United, again, that's two sixths or one third. How many children does each sector represent? And it says show your workings. So we know we've got 18 pupils in a class. We have to work out what one sector is in this. What one sector is. Because if we work out what one sector is, we'll be able to add up the rest of them and get the full amount. So we know it's 18 is the full amount. So this, all of them is 18. And we're splitting up 18 into six different pieces. It's just like dividing. So you take 18 and you divide it by six, because there's six pieces. Six into 18 was three times, okay? So each sector is worth three people. And that should add up to 18. So you go three and three is six, three and three is six, that's 12. And three and three is six is 18, it does add up. Which means that Chelsea, there's three people, there's only one section. Arsenal, there's two of these, three and three, that's six. 
Tottenham, there's three, and Manchester United, Manchester United, there's six. And again, that should add up to 18. And that's the question it just asks you there, okay? Same question. Question four. There are 80 cars in a car park. The pie chart below shows the proportion of color of cars. So the whole thing represents 80, and we split it up into equal fractions again. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different sections. So how much is each section worth? How do we find that? Because they're all equal, we divide 80 by how many sections there are. There are eight. The 80 divided by eight, which is 10. Okay, so each section is worth 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Which means we could work it out now without even looking at them because it's going to ask the exact same thing. It's going to ask you what fraction of the cars are black. Well, okay, well that's an eighth because it's an it, it's eight sections with one eighth. Okay, it's one eighth. That's one eighth. Eighth, eighth, eighth. How many are black? Well, there's two eighths. We can break that down to a quarter, however. Red, red's here. So one, two, three, three eighths. Blue, blue's here. Two eighths. And white, one eighth. Okay, and that's those questions answered. How many fractions are red, blue, black, and white? Things like that. It then says how many cars each sector represents. And we've just answered that because we've said 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So let's work it out. Black, there's two tens, so that's 20. Red, there's three tens, so that's 30. Blue, there's two tens, so that's 20. And white, there's one ten, so that's 10. And this should add up to 80. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it does. Question five, uh, and we've got again nice equal fractions. We've got um, third. Is this is this the same question as the last one? Oh, it's not. Slightly different. I thought it was the same question as the first one, but we're in third here. Okay, third, third, third. Male. There's two thirds male and one third female. There are five girls in a maths class. A very important uh, point here is read the question and read what it says. It says there are five girls. It doesn't say five pupils, five girls. So we know that a third is the fraction, but this is five. It's just told us, the answer is told. So if this is a third, which is five, okay? So we're told that one section is worth five. So this must be five and this must be five. How many pupils are there in the class overall? We could work it out. Five, five, and five, it's 15. What fraction of the class are male? Two thirds. What fraction are female? One third. How many males are in the class? Well, five and five, it's 10, it's gonna be 10. What is the total number of students in the class? Five, five, and five, it's 15. Okay, so question six. On the student council, there are three, sorry, there, yeah, there are three year seven students. So three of the year sevens, there's three pupils here, okay? Now this is one section again, because look, it's one here. So we know this is worth three. So this must be three, and this must be three, and this must be three. How many pupils are there overall? Three, 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 and three. Twelve, okay, there are twelve pupils overall. Um, we could work out the rest of them now if we wanted to. We go year eight, well it must be three, we know that. Nine, there's two of these, it must be six, all right? What fractions will we give the fractions if we want? How many in year seven? One quarter, okay? How many in year eight? Uh, one quarter. How many in year nine? Two quarters or a half. How many students are in year eight? Well, we've done that one already, there's three. How many in year nine? There's six. How many in year seven? There's three. What's the total number of students? Well, three, 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 and three is 12. Question seven. A man allocates 600 pounds to savings each month. The chart below shows the proportion of how his money is allocated each month. So the entire chart is worth £600. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So to work out how many each piece is worth, we divide £600 by six, which is quite easy actually. Dividing 600 by six is 100. In other words, six times what is 600 is 100. So it's worth £100 each. Each section is worth £100. Now we can do fractions, we know it's a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth. So that for example, rent is one sixth, which is worth 100 pounds. And we know food, one, two, three, is three sixths, which is worth 300 pounds. Entertainment is one sixth, which is worth 
100 pounds and savings one sixth, which is worth 100 pounds. And that should all add up to 600, 300, 400, 500, 600. And the questions are what we just done there. What fraction is free to them, which we've just done, and how much money is each worth, which we've just done. Question eight, a man allocates 30 pound on his dinner. The pie chart below shows the proportion of money he spent on food that day. And again, reading the question is careful because it says man allocates 30 pound on his dinner. How much money has he spent on food that day? Okay, so we've got lunch, which is here, dinner, which is here, the snack, which is here, and breakfast, which is here. Okay, so we've got lunch, which is just one section. And it's 30 pounds. No, nope, that's wrong. Sorry, I mistake. Do apologize. I'm reading the wrong one. Uh, sorry, his dinner is 30 pounds. His dinner is here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is 30 pounds. Uh, let's have a look at the very tidy. Sorry, very tidy. Um, how many pieces there are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. Eight pieces overall. Now you need to find out, and this is the difficulty, it doesn't actually tell you what it is in total, but you do know what one, two, three, four, five, five eighths of the circle is. Five eighths is equal to 30 pounds. So when you want to find the full amount, you take 30 pounds, so there you go, and what you're wanting to do is you want to break it down. You want to find what one eighth is, okay? You want to find what one eighth, one eighth is, because that's five eighths, okay? So if this is five eighths, how are you going to break it down and find one eighth, all right? So if you have 30 pounds there, which is five eighths, in order to break it down, you have to divide. You have to break it up. So you have to break up um, 30 pounds and you divide it by five, because you're breaking it down to what one eighth is. So you divide 30 by five, which is six, and then you multiply six by eight, which is 48. So the whole thing is 48, okay? Now, that's not, I haven't asked that yet, but that's what, how you would work out what the whole thing is. If the whole thing is 48, how many would each piece be worth, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The whole thing is 48, how many would each piece be worth? So it's 48, and you've got eight of them, okay? You've got eight of them. How many would go into this? Eight go into four does not go. Five forty-eight. I want to do eight times tables. Uh, eight into uh, six. Well, five eighths is forty. Six eighths is forty-eight. So six. So that should be six pounds. Six pounds. Six pounds. Six pounds. Six pounds. Six 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 six. Five six is thirty. That checks out. That's six pounds. That's six pounds, and that's six pounds, which means six pounds on snacks. Six pounds on lunch and six pounds on breakfast. And that is exactly the question that it just asks you. Okay, and we'll actually we'll pause there. Um, this is the first section of the, uh, the pie chart. I'm going to put this link in the description. Um, it'll be in the video anyway. And you can have a go at doing it uh, if you want to work along with me. Um, we'll do another video on pie chart, a slightly more advanced one um, at some point as well on the channel. Thanks for watching.